two. Today's Mass is offered in thanksgiving by the Catholic family. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The prayers, Mass prayers for today are taken from the Mass, from the mass for the preservation of peace. Today's the anniversary of the bombing, one of the bombings of Hiroshima. And we're asked to pray for peace today. As we begin the celebration, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we ask for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show a Father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, But you mortal, hear what I say to you. Do not be rebellious like that rebellious house. Open your mouth and eat what I gave you. I looked, and a hand was stretched out to me, and a written scroll was in it. He spread it out before me, and it had writings on the front and on the back, and written on it for words of lamentation and mourning and woe. He said to me, O mortal, eat what is offered to you. Eat this scroll and go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. He said to me, Mortal, eat this scroll that I give you, and fill your stomach with it. Then I ate it, and in my mouth, it was as sweet as honey. He said to me, Mortal, go to the house of Israel and speak my very words to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How, How sweet to my taste is your promise. promise. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. Your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. How, How sweet to my is my faith is your promise. promise. The law of your mouth is better than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet, How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. With open mouth I pant, because I long for your commandments. How, How sweet to my taste is your promise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus called the child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, 
unless you change and become my children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes a humble, whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, in heaven are their angels continually see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a shepherd is, has a hundred sheep, and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than the other ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I was filling some empty time the other day on YouTube, and you can really waste a lot of time on that. But I came across one clip about this young boy herding geese, which did seem rather funny. But I did watch it, and then there was a couple other different videos of people herding and whether it was geese, sheep, ducks, the shepherd was always at the back, pushing the sheep, ducks, geese forward. And that seems to be a very standard process. The shepherd in the parable obviously missed something. He was probably behind the sheep as he was, the one ended up staying behind, maybe walking too fast. Or the sheep simply got distracted, saw something different. I think that is really a good image of the church, that it is our job as shepherds, not just me as a priest, but all of us, to shepherd people from behind, moving them forward, but also making sure that we don't go too fast that we leave people behind. And maybe that is one of the problems of our church today, that we have tried to move too fast and not let people keep up with the changes that take place. More changes will come in the church. Hopefully, we will not move too fast to leave people behind. Return to our Father in heaven and bring our needs to him as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For Pope Francis, may his pilgrimage of reconciliation bear fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of our nation, may they honor their commitment to truth and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For ourselves, may faith give us courage to face the challenges of our day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those preparing for World Youth Day, may their work be blessed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer, May they find comfort in their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed, may their hope of eternal life be, filled, be fulfilled. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God and Father, we thank you for being attentive to our prayers. We ask you to grant what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and hand. Praise the Lord's name. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and to raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by your word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from people from every people, tongue, and nation, and fill her with life by the power of your Spirit, who never sees through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she disperses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so of all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And while with the church as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scripture and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the word of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that, by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the Gospel, strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Claude our Bishop, that, no, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of our Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously granted her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
not just virtual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in your most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can't at this moment receive your sacrament today, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be affected in nurturing the Lord all the peace that he left us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your Lord. spirit. And only God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.